if, 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 if any of the two, four and five, prove to be correct, then three does some analysis around the man in the loop, why the observer is key. You know, what's, what is it with the experiment only works this way if there is an observer? So it studies kind of the, the, the human interface or the man interface with the mechanics of creating the reality. <clears throat> and of course those are created, we have that interface because in our virtual reality you have to have a player. You have to have a consciousness, you see. The virtual reality doesn't work without a consciousness. You have to have a computer to compute it and you have to have a consciousness player to play it. Without the player, there's no point in computing it. Without the computing it, the player doesn't have a virtual reality to play in. So those two things are logically necessary for each other. So in order to create this virtual reality, it's predicated on having a player. Well, that player turns out to be the observer in the quantum mechanics experiment. So you have to have an observer. Without the observer, nothing's computed. So if an observer doesn't get information, then the process is never computed. There's no point. Computer in a virtual reality then just compute things for the fun of it, it computes them so it can send them to a player. That's why the observer in, in the double slit experiment is important. It's that consciousness connection. And that's the secret that was divulged when we forced Mother Nature to put us, you know, to, to uh, tell us what would happen when we sent one particle a time at double slits. So my experiments are also going to force uh, the larger conscious system to divulge a couple of more of her secrets because it's going to put it's going to put the larger conscious system between a rock and a hard place, forcing it to show us a little of the magic behind you know behind the curtain, what goes on behind the curtain, and uh, that's really what it's all about. So that's what these experiments do. They kind of back the larger consciousness system, or if you want to rather say the, the virtual reality rendering engine, you know, they force this process of rendering this virtual reality to divulge some of its secrets by backing it into a corner from which it can't escape without giving us a secret. So that's basically what these experiments are all about. <laughs> You're not supposed to trick Mother Nature, but every once in a while you have to in order to get her to, to give up one of her secrets. Present day. <laughs> Present time. <laughs>